Oh god, the focus. What's up guys, John here from Deadline Steamworks. Today I've got three tips for you new photographers to level up your photo game, take better pictures. But first thing we've got to do is we've got to deal with this noise. Every room in my house is loud. I've got a child, we've got TV going all the time, air conditioners, fans, servers, just, it's a, it's a wreck. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some hopefully put in some sound barrier in the office and make it a little more hearable. Because there's a store called Earthbound that carries tapestries and that is important to covering the wall in the office that way you guys don't have to see acoustic blankets on the wall I mean we'll show you more as we get to that point but uh, here we go for those of you who know me I don't like malls but we're here anyway for you successfully navigated the earthbound store in the mall. It's gonna be really hard to talk in here because it's really loud and there's a lot of copyrighted music playing. So I don't actually know how much of this footage you guys get to see. But like I said, we got a tapestry from earthbound. I'm gonna cover up the acoustic blankets that we're going to go buy here in a little bit. And then hopefully the office will sound a lot better after that. So stay tuned. Large vanilla Coke. I need a large watermelon frozen lemonade. Do you have a good moment. If you live in an area where you don't have access to a Sonic, you're missing out. Watermelon frozen lemonade is one of the best drinks on the planet, besides some of the coffee that I make. So what I was saying was, quit letting the robots control your creativity. Quit using zoom lenses. Learn your camera settings, get prime lenses, learn how to move in and out, get the focal length you want, learn how to get the focus correct yourself by hand, learn what ISO means, learn what shutter speed means, learn about your aperture, learn how those things manipulate, how much light is hitting the sensor, and how those are manipulating the shot that you're taking. Learn, you know, if it's overexposed, why is it overexposed? Is it because your ISO is too high? Your aperture is too wide open? Your shutter speed's too slow? What, whatever. Figure it out, learn your camera settings, be able to manipulate your camera without taking your eye away from the camera so that you're fast and efficient, and then go back and start using auto features like autofocus and stuff. But learn how to do it by hand first so that when something goes wrong, you can more quickly analyze and determine why it went wrong and how to fix it without relying on a robot. That being said, let's go pick up some packing blankets. So we've made it home from the hardware store. We've got 
our tapestry and we've got a couple of these acoustic blankets. All right, let's talk about photography tip number two. Tip number two, as soon as all the traffic in the world is gone by. Tip number two, shoot more often. We all have digital cameras now. There's no reason to be worried about limitations of film and how many shots you can take. If you go out and shoot 3,000 shots in two hours, just pay attention to what you're shooting and shoot more. 3,000 shots in two hours, fine. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe, maybe more often needs to be shoot more frequently. Go out five days a week instead of three. Shoot more often. Practice makes perfect. So the more you shoot, the better you'll get at it. The better you get at it, the better you get at it. That's the point. Number three, shoot with what you've got. Quit worrying about what gear you need, getting the next best camera, having this thing or that thing, whatever, who gives a crap? If you wanna to learn to shoot and shoot better, you need to shoot with what you've got. If all you've got is a cell phone, then get out and take pictures with the cell phone. Granted, that's not exactly what I would consider very professional, shooting with a cell phone, but, you know, cell phones have come a long ways, and they're not that bad, really. Just get out there and shoot, make stuff happen. Anyway, if you found any of this information even remotely useful, I'd appreciate it if you'd share it with your friends. Make sure you come follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all the social media things. And special thanks to the Patreons. And if you're interested in Patreon and supporting us just a little bit extra, you know, there's a, there's a link in the description. So subscribe if you're not already, smash the like button, cause you really need to click the bell so you get notified when we upload new content. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.